Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Saturday, the 13th of July. This may be the tightest, cleanest packing job I've ever done. This is everything except for my clothes, and only just a couple of those things over there am I taking. But this right here is everything. Here's my GoPro stuff, some of the GoPro stuff. This is all my editing stuff. That's both my iPads, charge cords, um, Bluetooth headphones, uh, AirPods. There's lightning cables, USB-C cables. Everything I need to vlog is right there. And then in here, this is going to be my, my grab bag camera stuff. Hero 7, Fusion, tripods. A little camera attachment -y thingy bobbies here and there a moment lens for my camera the case for it um, this is this is my power station here all my uh, different cords that I need a little emergency backpack my plug-in I got one of those uh, there's a thing so I can wirelessly charge my watch if I need to one of those 10 port hubs everything you need right there and they all need there's my vanity stuff so charging my grab bag camera stuff that'll sit up there with it most of this stuff will, won't come in and out there's some charge cables and stuff in there too my editing stuff the good old GoPro pole here the uh, La, La, La Grande I think it's called and of course you gotta have the claw you know the things that I seldom use <laughs> I'm terrible with that stuff but anyway that's it and all most of this stuff I could get in the skinny bag where the tools are there's nothing in there but that tool bag and I got that huge bag and then the whole trunk up there all right there we are so now that it looks like the rains are coming I decide to come out here and take her for a ride so she's completely loaded I got some clothes that are being washed that need to be put in it and then uh, some shoes and just piddly things and uh, just a couple little electronic things that I I didn't get in there but that's how she's gonna be taking the trip just like that so let's take her for a rip I'm take it for a little ride and a uh, Go find some little twisty somewhere. Just, I'm just probably just going to take the whole road route and uh, just get a feel of the bike, see what she's like. Top her off with gas, and I'll be ready for the morning. Here we go. <laughs> the humidity is so. Did I just see raindrops? You got to be kidding me. Maybe that was just dust in the air. No, I don't see any. But man, it feels ridiculous to have a coat on in this. I mean, what the heck? It is so freaking sticky out here. It's horrible. I don't know where the woman's at. There she is. So the bike, I don't think <laughs> the gear I have in here even weighs as much as Kelly. There's no way it weighs as much as Kelly. And she doesn't weigh very much, as you can only imagine. So, uh, yeah. A custom Harley. The, the, probably the heaviest single item I have is, a, is the tool bag. My laptops and I, I think the stuff I have, it, it feels pretty balanced between the, between the two. You know with the bags off and lifting them it's important you get a <laughs> you get a balanced load but yeah she works good it's like an old whole road loop so <laughs> i didn't even tell you guys i never came back out with the camera um tons of room in the bags yeah i am I am so underpacked compared to normal, and I have everything I need. Yeah, I'm golden. I'm good for the duration with 
with room to get little trinkets for the little woman. <laughs> so I thought I'd wear this uh, Squallborn icon jacket one more time just to, I got the vents open and you know, it breathes real well. It's doing a good job, but but I, it just the the thing just keeps going through my head is how difficult it is to wrap that to ball that BMW jacket up if I wear you know something lighter. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll just have to deal with it. That's one. I, I, with all the body armor the thing has in it, for one, you know, that thing's meant to, uh, to do some serious off-roading. And, uh, and with that, there's a chance you could uh, uh, leave the vehicle unexpectedly. And in such a case, <laughs> that, could be, that could be an issue without proper gear on. But we're not going for that kind of ride. But as you know... You never know when a crash is coming. You can't go, well, I'm not gonna wear that because I'm not gonna crash today. You just don't know when that's gonna happen. You either take the chance or, you know, you look like you're wearing, you know, the Iron Man suit. Man, I got the suspension set in dynamic, dynamic auto. And uh, that is, that is stiff. Let's see what she's like in a... Oh, can't do it while I'm, while I'm moving. I thought I could. You look like you could be a biter. Oh, that is the old guy down the road there that chases me. What's he doing all the way over here? Hey there, he ho. But other than being so humid, that uh, your motorcycle would probably go about 10 or 15 miles an hour slower at top speed because of the density of the air. <laughs> um, it's nice out here. It sprinkled on me a little bit going down the highway away from my house. But uh, by the time I made it to, to Toledo, it had done already dried itself up. So it still looks like, looks like rain for tomorrow. At least Gabe and them are going to make it up here um, they're, they're going to stay, um, quite a bit south of where we're at, somewhere north of, of, uh, David Andrews, and, uh, spend the night at a, at a hotel. Come on. We definitely do not want Max. Oh, boy, I feel that thing climbing like a madman. But I think with the, whoops, with the dynamic medium... It's a, it's a little soft. Yeah, that feels pretty soft. Well, my feet are close to the ground. Because auto, you know, dynamic auto, just everything's taken care of. Yeah, see, now the shield, I can't see over it like I was a while ago. You just stop here and see. Uh, that's not a good place to stop in a turn, is it? Pull to the side up here. I just didn't, it was just rather stiff. But yeah, yeah, it's the weight of the bike's got it sunk down. Because I am absolutely flat foot. Both feet absolutely flat on the ground. And I was on the ball of my feet, almost kind of like normal. But uh, that makes it, I'll, I'll ride it there for a little bit, see what I think. That'll be really comfortable because we're going to be a lot of almost freeway riding. But in lieu of that, I can kick the shield down a little bit. <laughs> That tar just looks wet still, doesn't it? God, July. Mid-July. Man, in a month we're going to have the threshing bee out here. You know it's getting close when you come out here and the fields all get just cut like a golf course out there. And then the, the flight, the RC plane flight club out here... Uh, all their tables and stuff were gone. Only one guy out there today. 
so you know it's so restricted with the uh, quads you wouldn't even get a quad to lift off the ground right here because on the other side of the trees is the airport but yet you can fly a model airplane that hauls butt why the segregation why there's a glider sitting out there anyway the bike is uh, gonna be like a couple of shirts and a, I think one or two pairs of jeans heavier. That's about it. So what I'm riding is how I'll be riding. It'll be wonderful. It's nice to know I don't have to, you know, is the bike gonna act weird, do anything weird? No. Got extra room for getting little trinky trinkies for the mama somewhere. And throw some water bottles in there for your thirsties oh you know what when I get gas I think I might run in there and, you know on my trips I gotta have my smart water I'll drink any water when I'm just driving back and forth to work but on the trips it's I just got this thing it's got to be smart water <laughs> plus the bottles are tall and skinny it's easier to stow them and a lot of them have the little uh, like ketchup bottle looking top or whatever they call that thing the little flip lid you can squeeze the water in your mouth and if you're riding with friends, you know, just squeeze the water in your mouth all the time. And then if you got a germaphobe in the group, they're not going to be afraid to take a drink out of it. Although if you're a germaphobe, you wouldn't even do that. Maybe your germs ran up the water stream and got in the bottle. <laughs> oh, well. Looks like I got a, a few little buglets I got to take off of here. Or is that rain? No, that's bugs. All right. Next stop the petrol station and check this out my old favorite pump is is up and running again it might have been already but I, I it's just been closed every time I, I come up so I don't even pay attention to it good lord what the heck do I got in that all right let me get some gas in it all right gassed up got a couple smart waters in the old Seattle bag. Oh, almost turned the bike off. Woo, that was loud. Holy moly. That's the uh, bike saying that's not the, well, the Cena is, but it, that's where it connected through the bike. You, you get the first one when you turn your Cena on, the second one the, <laughs> when the bike pairs up. It is hot in this jacket. Man, them huge side vents, they vent very well, but when you're standing still and there's no air moving, God almighty. I go in there and the gal's going, how's your ride? I said, oh, it's going fantastic. She goes, how are you handling that heat? No air conditioning, I said. I said, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. She goes, well, that's what I meant. She goes, it's you, it's thick enough you cut it with a butter knife. <laughs> so I think I say that every once in a while. Lots of bikes out here today. Lots of bikes out. Look at that. Heading east here. Looks like I might run into some, some rain. Anyway, I'm going to head on the rest of the way up the hill. And I'll chit chat with you kind folks here in a momento. Thanks for coming along on the uh, Road Ready Beamer. <laughs> Alright, we'll talk at you. There she is. Fully loaded and ready to go. Man, I just put my clothes in there and some coats and whatever. <laughs> I filled that duffel bag right up. I'm still pondering, do I really need to bring as much as what I'm bringing as far as clothes wise? It is it's summertime. We're only the rain. Oh, I still got that open. I was digging stuff out of there. But anyway, I may shag some of this stuff. Still, I'll be pondering over it. But that's what she's going to look like. She's road trip ready. God dang. And tomorrow, it begins.
Hope you guys are excited. Because I sure am. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. Ready or not, here we go. Yep. And I am ready. I uh, just had two little small things to pull out of the way. Whoop. My bag with the all the iPads and everything's in there. And I got everything I need in two little bags to do my editing for tonight. I've already got it out and sitting there. Everything's plugged back in. Go time. So, I'm going to build this video. Try to get a good night's sleep. And uh, we'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Oh. We'll be off on a journey. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. Thanks for hanging out with my whining and sniveling about prepping. <laughs> but um, it's, in the end, absolutely the craziest, it was worth it result. Yeah, worked yeah. out very oh, nice. man. My best packing, prepping ever. <laughs> uh, if I even say so myself. <laughs> yeah, he done good. <laughs> I'm ready. Got everything I need. I've gone over and over and over and over. I'm good. Good. If I don't have it and I need it, I didn't know it before I left. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. All right. See you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye-bye now. Bye.